Okay, so electrical transformers, they're not quite as exciting as our Autobot friends here, uh, but they do perform two very useful functions for us on Earth. The first is that they increase the voltage uh, of the, an electrical supply that's from a generator to allow it to move around the country in a much more efficient way uh, by reducing the current and therefore reducing heat loss. They're also, we have on the other end as well, to reduce that high voltage supply to a more usable, uh, lower voltage, higher current supply for our homes. And this video is going to be about how they work. Now, the first bit is really consider what the transformer is made of. Uh, and these are the, the sort of two main components. They have a primary and secondary coil, so these wires that are wrapped around either side, and an iron core. It's usually soft iron. It has to be easily magnetized, and soft iron allows the mag magnetic field to set up and, and to change very easily. Now, we'll just consider the primary coil first of all. What happens? Well, an alternating current is put through that coil, and that induces an alternating magnetic field in the core. Okay, it makes it effectively like an electromagnet. So there's an, there's an alternating magnetic field in the core because the current itself is alternating. Now, what we do then, the secondary coil is inside that alternating magnetic field. So the wires of the secondary coil cut through the alternating magnetic field. And this induces a potential difference, a, a, a voltage, across that secondary coil. The alternating there. Now, this alternating volt, this potential difference, this voltage, that induces an alternating current in the secondary coil. The current's in the, the current induced in the secondary coil will be exactly the same frequency as the current of the primary coil. Uh, and the number of coils we'll see in a second indicates how big that current is going to be and how big the potential difference is going to be compared to the primary coil. Uh, the formula that you need to know is this one here. It's a pretty simple ratio, really. Um, sometimes you see it with voltage across primary divided by voltage across secondary equals number of primary turns divided, in, divided by number of secondary turns. This is the one I... The, the, sort of a variation that I think is most easily understood. Okay, so you need to be able to use this and manipulate it, and hopefully you can see there um, that it's all about the number of turns. It's that that it takes what the voltage is. Uh, the voltage and current are related uh, by this formula here. I'm oh, sorry, not this formula, the next formula. If the number of coils on the right-hand side goes up, so if the secondary coil has more coils than the primary, then it's a step-up transformer. If the number of coils in the secondary is less, then it's a step-down transformer. The voltage will step down. Now the relationship between voltage and current is this. Power equals, so power is energy per second, equals voltage times current. The power in, so the, the power input to the primary coil must equal the power out of the secondary coil okay, if this is 100% efficient. And they are pretty close to 100% efficient. They do lose a little bit of heat energy, but not very much. Um, so because of that, we know that power in is equal to power out. So voltage in times current in equals voltage out times current out. So if in this case we've got Obviously, looking at the number of coils, we've got more coils in the secondary coil, which means it must be a step up. So the voltage out must be bigger than the voltage in. Well, if I just look at that formula there in red, in, sorry, in yellow, uh, if the voltage out is big, if that increases, the current out must decrease to make that, that formula stay true. Okay, and that's how a transformer works. Uh, hope that helps.